Okay. Papa. Okay, Leap day, more leap day. Mm. Okay, Frederick with uh, okay, Frederick without a K. Mm. So F R E D E R I C. Mm. The pirate, apprentice, A P P R E N T I C E. Mm. Someone learning a trade from a skilled employer. That's an apprentice. Is just about to turn 21 years old. I guess they're talking about this mm. operetta that we mm. mentioned before. This birthday was supposed to be the day that he would happily be freed of his oh. contract with the Pirate King and no longer obligated to a life of piracy. However, the Pirate King, along with Ruth, R-U-T-H, the Pirate Maid, discover a shocking legal technicality. According to his contract, C-O-N-T-R-A-C-T, Frederick's service would officially be complete not necessarily at the age of 21, but rather on his 21st birthday. They calculate that they have only been, that there have only been five occurrences of a February 29 in Frederick's lifetime, not 21. Oh no, his birthday is on February 29th. He's only had five birthdays. He has to be indebted to them, I guess. Oh, uh, no. That means he's going to be, like, really old. Poor Frederick. All right. Let's start with some spelling words. The first one is trade. Let me see. Let me back up a little bit here. Okay. Trade. Steven. Yeah, 
Mm -hmm. I did it. Mm -hmm. Someone learning a trade from a skilled employer is called an blank. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's use your finger to point all the way over. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. Just go yeah. slow. Go, go slow. Mm -hmm. P then. P yeah. then. Mm -hmm. R uh. and all the way up. E yeah. and. And uh. then. Uh. E and. Uh. I then. All the way up, up, up. C yeah. and. Yeah. E. Apprentice. Good job. Mm -hmm. What is the name of the pirate apprentice? Without a K. Mm. B. It starts with uh. Uh, 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 mm. F, yeah. uh. F and uh. F then uh. R and all the way up. Uh. E then D, D and uh. R and uh. I then C, C and over uh. over. B. Yeah. Okay, good job, Frederick. Oh, mm. you know what? There was no K at the end. I messed up. Because <laughs> I wanted you to go more, but it was done. Frederick without a K. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Frederick's service would technically be complete on his 21st blank. Mm -hmm. B and uh. I then uh. R and uh. one more. D and uh. right above that. Uh. Uh. H then uh. D. D. Over, over, over. Uh, okay. Hold me up. Uh, a and now down, down, down. Uh, That's right. Birthday. Good job. Mm. Name one of the people who realized that mm. Frederick had had only five technical birthdays. Okay, two people realized it. Mm. Can you name one of them? One of them doesn't really have names. Mm. It's just like, mm. it is. Mm. Why don't you name the lady, the pirate maid? Uh. Well, first is. Mm. R then U and T and right above that. Good job, Ruth. Ruth, the pirate maid. How many years old was Frederick turning? You can do this one with your finger too. Twenty and twenty and one. He was turning twenty-one. I think there's another one with. How old will Frederick be when he finally completes the 21st, uh, February 29th of his life? Remember that the first occurrence was when he was born, or zero years old. Okay, so it's a multiplication question. Um, I'm not sure. So how many years are a leap year? Let's do that first. Okay. So four. four. Then we're going to multiply. So look time. times. Okay, then uh, two and yeah. zero, then that equals okay. yeah. seven. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> Four times twenty is equals uh, eight and five. Right that. Yeah. Zero. Good job. Equals eighty. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at some dialogue from the script of the Pirates Penzance. Mm -hmm. P-E-N-Z-A-N-C-E. -E. In this scene, Frederick and the two older pirates, Marvel, M-A-R-V-E-L, and Laugh, L-A-U-G-H, his name is Laugh, okay, at this paradox, P-A-R-A-D-O-X, something that combines contradictory qualities that they've discovered about Frederick's birthday each year. The following are Frederick's lines that he hears the news after he hears the news from Ruth and the Pirate King. How quaint, Q-U-A-I-N-T, the ways of paradox. At common sense, she gaily mocks. Though counting in the usual way, 20 years 21 I've been alive, yet reckoning on my natal, N-A-T-A-L, day, I am a boy, little boy of five. Okay, it's quite a rhyme. All right. Something that combines contradictory qualities is called a what? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, a then, uh, a then, uh, R and, uh, a then, uh, D and, uh, O and, uh, oh, oh. Uh, Good job, paradox. Paradox. Mm -hmm. According to Frederick, this paradox 
gaily mm -hmm. or happily mocks at what? Mm -hmm. I didn't get this, but we'll see if you can get it. Mm -hmm. See then, uh, over. Uh, see then, uh, O end. Uh, M end. Uh, M then. Uh, o end. Uh, N end. Uh, over. Uh, S then, all the way up. Uh, C then. Uh, N end. Uh, S end. Last letter, all the way up. Uh, e. Good job, common sense. It mocks at common sense. Frederick has been alive 21 years. If you're Counting in the blank way. <coughs> Counting in the you <coughs> and <coughs> right above that, you and <coughs> S and back, <coughs> you then all the way up, <coughs> A and <coughs> L. That's right, the usual way. What did I say the characters do in response to the paradox they discovered? Oh, it wasn't. Oh my gosh. I'm not doing a very good job of reading this. I'm sorry, Mark. Marvel and Laugh wasn't the names of the people. They were what they did. Okay, we'll just name one of those things. You start it, then I'll help you. Uh, right above that. Uh, L, okay, L, then uh, A, N, down, uh, U, end. L-A-U, L-A-U, go slow, T and H. Good job. They laughed and they marveled, I guess. Um, listen again to the dialogue you just heard. Notice the words that rhyme. What's the set of two rhyming words? Okay, I'm going to read this again. How quaint the ways of paradox. At common sense, she gaily mocks. Though counting in the usual way, Years 21, I've been alive, yet reckoning on my natal day, I am a little boy of five. Okay, so you're supposed to pick two words that rhyme, I guess, and spell them out. Okay, so which ones would you like to do? Do the, do the shortest ones? W, and, A, and, I, way, and, all the way up, all the way up. D and A and D and D A in the corner. Why? Good job. Day. Way and day. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, what do you suppose is meant by uh, Frederick's natal day? What's his natal day? Do you know this one? This might be harder. Uh, yeah. Uh, F then. Uh, C then. Uh, F E. T. Right above that. B e then. Uh, R then. Uh, U end. Uh, A end. Uh, yep, you were going to write uh, R end down. Uh, February, okay, his natal day is February uh, 29, uh, okay, that's the day he was born, his natal, when your natal day, I guess, <laughs> it's kind of a weird day, um, I don't know, I just don't know, how many actual February 29th birthdays has Frederick had, according to what we read? Uh, he had uh, five, that's right. As if Frederick is turning 21 and has had five birthdays on a leap day, how many times must he have celebrated his birthday on a leap day? Well, that doesn't make sense. On a non-leap day. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, so this is the subtraction problem. So if he's going to be 21, so you take tw 21. Okay. 21 minus 5, because he's had five birthdays, equals... Echo. Th. Uh. One and Th. six. That's right. Sixteen. Good job. Twenty-one minus five is sixteen. That was easy. Um, Patrick, having been born on a leap day, had a February 29th birthday when he turned four, and then what other ages? So 
So count by fours. So then he was four. Then what was the next age that he got a mm -hmm. birthday? Seven. So, you know, over eight. eight. Then how old was he? Five. Okay, up. Seven. So eight plus four is basically what? Uh, One and ten. two. So then 12 plus four is? Nine. Uh, One and seven. six. And then 16 plus four is? Nine. Is ten. two and Sarah, that's right, 20. Good job. So we had birthdays at 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. So my dad just had a birthday, and he turned 20 in leap, leap year days. I don't know how you say And so he's 80. He's 20 times 4 is 80. There's only one more paragraph, so let's finish this up. Let's discuss one more cultural peculiarity. Peculiar, I can't even say this word, peculiarity, that means quirk, Q-U-I-R-T, or oddity, peculiarity, oh my gosh, I cannot say that, um, about leap day. Leap day in Ireland is sometimes called bachelor's day, B-A-C-H-E-L-O-R-S, or ladies privilege, P-R-I-V-I-L-E-G-E -E day. Whatever for, you may ask. Legend has it that in the 5th century, F-I-F-T-H, St. Bridget, B-R-I-D-G-E-T, yeah, we heard this one before, one of Ireland's national saints, complained to St. Patrick, P-A-T-R-I-C-K, another of Ireland's national saints, about the sad cultural reality that women were always having to wait around for men to propose marriage to them and couldn't just initiate it themselves. St. Patrick allegedly agreed that women ought to have the privilege of proposing to men, but very infrequently, like one every seven years, he said. But Bridget advocated to narrow the time frame to once every four years, and a new February 20th oh, tradition was born. Okay. In what country do they have a tradition of women proposing to men on February 29th? Started in what time period? So when did it start? Mm -hmm. Close to F, then I, then back up. F I F, then all over. T and right above that. The fifth. Mm -hmm. T then T then and then. Century. Good job. According to legend, women in Ireland were tired of always having to be wait around for men to blank marriage to them. Those women. Uh, right above that. Uh, the end. Uh, R then. De, uh, o then. Pro. Uh -huh. The end. Whatever. Uh, o then. Uh, Good job. Propose marriage. Name one of Ireland's national saints who's involved mm. in this tradition. Mm. Just say their name. You don't have to do the same part. Uh. Uh. 